Oh, hey there my dudes. I'm Laddie and um, welcome to this video. So as you can see from my um, studying book that is down here, hashtag not spons, um, I am, as, as those would say it, balls deep in revision. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm studying so hard for my exams which are coming up after this holiday and so you know it's been it's been I'd say pressure to t do everything and you know make these uh, like do other things like revision and then work and obviously these videos so I'm sorry I haven't had so many videos out but don't worry that will change after exams I'll have many more each week uh, I just wanted to say Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for five, well it's now a bit over, 500 subscribers. 500 subscribers. Like, honestly, I didn't think that it would go this fast and um, today, I mean, obviously I want to thank you too, but um, the main person I want to thank, the person who I wouldn't have got this far without, is my sponsor, Frugo. Frugo is a great drink. Um, it's ultra green, follow your colour, Frugo. Just follow your colour, kids. Don't let people tell you not to follow your colour. I'm kidding, I'm not sponsored. I kind of wish I was sponsored, but this is actually pretty good. <sighs> Sponsor me, Frodo. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> anyway, no, seriously, jokes aside, thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, d you guys don't want to hear me rambling on. I'm just excited about the stuff, and I just wanted to say at the beginning of this video, I know that there are... Um, there aren't as many videos or there aren't as many long you know videos that I put a lot of time into um, but they will come don't worry in summer holiday I'll be putting out videos left right and centre anyway let's get in to the video oh my god I just hit my light <laughs> with my hand <laughs> oh my god I've broken my light oh my god it's broken oh shit oh fuck Oh shit. That's that that's that's broken out of its okay. Yeah, it's kind of broken out of its um um I don't know how to fix I'll, I'll I'll fix it later. <laughs> anyway, into the video. Hey there guys. I I made a video about, you know, a few weeks ago just saying about my newbie tips going private and what my kind of initial experience has been and some tips I had just from a general new person to going private outlook. But now I've got some more information. I did say in the last video to do with my transition and going private, I would make another one on the clinics to actually go to. The clinics that I uh, suggested before, well, I didn't really suggest any, I didn't know any clinics beforehand. And so it was more of a, it was more of a me just saying, okay, it's a, it's a good idea to go private because of this, maybe not because of this. And I got, I, one of the main thing I advise you to do, if you don't know what clinic to go to, because I'm giving, gonna give examples of UK clinics here, but if you're in America or if you're in, you know, anywhere else, in Europe, anywhere else around the world, wherever, you may want, there'll be different clinics obviously and you can't all come over here and go to the clinics and stuff like that um, but I just I just hope that you guys listen to this advice if, if you if you want to and um, hopefully it helps you so my first advice for finding a clinic I'd say is if you absolutely have no clue then speak to your GP go down to your GP and if I mean obviously I can understand there are some GPs that aren't very nice that aren't very chill with this kind of thing and I mean you can always try and get a new GP, like try and go elsewhere and speak to someone else about it. Um, so obviously first try and speak to friends if you're out to them or you know people who are, 
you know, if you know people who are transgender or you know people who would know about this or within the community, then definitely speak to them. Um, and if you get a few names of good clinics, you know, because you've got to be, you got to be careful about what clinic you use. I speak about that in the first one. I'll link it up here. I'll put, you know, the i card. Um, and you know, you got to be careful with the one you go to. So speak to friends, speak to trusted people. You know, that you know you trust and that would tell you the right kind of advice. And if you don't, you know, know anyone like that, then definitely speak to your GP, and they should find it out for you. It's kind of like they're obliged to, because <laughs> I mean, you know, that's the, that's the point. Or speak to a doctor, or call up some sort of. There, are, even in 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 America, there are. And, and Europe and other places, there are plenty online helpline places that you can call up and they'll give you the best advice. I'll try and link some down in the link below if, I, if there aren't any links because I can't find any. I'm sure I'll be able to find some here but I don't know about other countries. I think it's, it's important that, like, in my experience, my GP is good. Uh, you do have to be careful with who you tell though about this kind of stuff. My GP told me, uh, like sent me a letter because um, she can get hold of me on the phone, but she sent me a letter saying the best places she's found for, uh, the best places that she has found for me to go. So one of the ones on the top of the list was gender care. And before she sent me this letter, someone, someone who I'm just going to show here in my last video, even before being told by my GP, uh, Isaac Sayini, or I'm literally ruining your name, I'm so sorry, Isaac Sayini, you'll see it on screen, you pronounce it how you want to. Um, <laughs> uh, he said, I, I pinned at the top of my last video, hey dude, do you know that you can go private and stay on the NHS waiting list, right? So I actually didn't know this. Like I thought they'll be like, you gotta choose. <laughs> it's either me or him. Um, like, you know, the NHS would be like, I can't believe you'd go private on me. I, can't. I thought I was the only one. And then private would be like, yeah, bitch, I'm still your trans person. Yeah, NHS. You don't own me. I got your bitch, that's right. I got, I got your patient. And then NHS would be like, but, but dude, I loved you so much. You joined the waiting list. You either got to choose me or him. And then... And then, you know, private would be like, choose me, dude. I know I'm more expensive and whatever, but I'll treat you right. And then NHS is just like, but I know, I know it's a long time to wait for me, but, but it's meaningful. And I know I'm not rich like him, but, but I love you. Um, and then, and then they fight to an ultimate battle, no, um, I don't know what that was, but okay, <laughs> um, but it, I didn't know that you could actually be on both at the same time, so my plan has actually changed, I'll just tell you, so he told me in, in his comment, he said, um, so you can get on tea through a private clinic, and then get shared care with your GP and you can stay on that, you can pay NHS prices for testosterone. And he said that he can vouch for gender care, which are really nice people. Um, and gender care is a London based um, clinic. So this will be for people in the UK, a London based clinic, but I think they have some bases up country and gender care they got me, um, I, I emailed them straight away because he said in his comment that you could, you don't have to go through your GP. Um, you can email the private clinic of gender care just yourself. So I emailed them and I was like, yo, what up pimps? Can I have, don't say that in the email. I was like, can I have an appointment? And they gave me one for September. Um, and, and however, they told me that I need to get an appointment for blood test, like where they look at your blood test and they give you the testosterone. 
they said the next possible appointment for that is in March next in 2018, next year, and that is way out of my time scale. So I thought, seeing as I've already waited about a year and I'm joining the NHS in I'm joining the NHS thing, like my waiting list is over in October, I could get my blood test done with my GP in the summer. I could go private with my therapy. So like, you know, where they give you the note and they'd be like, yeah, this person is in need of testosterone. They kind of like make sure you're not, you're not gonna regret it or whatever. And then in October, I can give them the blood test and the note from the private therapist and they can just give me the testosterone. Um, so that's exactly how I'm gonna doing it, just just on, on terms of um, sort of uh, how quick I can get it done really. Um, but definitely go to your GP because they should know the best place. Speak to friends who will know. Online services, easy enough. And there's a few, there's a few places within London um, there's a good website which I will link down below which just tells you all the best places It's a website for like trans people. It tells you all the best clinics and different places I think it's UK based but they may also, I may have branches of other ones um, around the world that tell the best places and support groups and other things for trans people um, So pri you can mix private with NHS but if you want to find a private clinic then unless you search online, which cannot always be reliable, um, you need to speak to your GP or a friend. So, uh, or a friend that you definitely trust. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for 500 subscribers! Oh my god! Um, anyway, and thank you Frugal Ice Tea for sponsoring now, okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, um, somewhere around here. I always say on my face and then I never put it on my face. Um, and there'll be a video down here. Thank you so much for watching. Watch the last video up here somewhere, wherever. Thank you. Love you guys.